people, 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 people. Keep us a sup, a say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Now, people, if it's one thing that we know, Jamaica is plagued with crime and violence. And one of the ways to clamp down on this persistent pestilence is to shock and awe people. That means uh, you do random search, vehicle, people, minibus, whoever. To see if you can catch persons in the act, in the transition period, moving any sorts of contraband, be it cocoa, any sorts of tool, any sorts of firepiece. So people, I am going to show you a video. A video of the Popo doing a random search of some sorts of public passenger vehicle. And then I am going to tell you what they did that was good and what they did what was wrong. So people, take a listen, take a look and then I'll give my peace. One at a time, General. Just step back up. Once in search, you know, step aside. Step aside. Step off, look a bit off, I police. General, with the bag. Step off, look a bit off, I police. Step. Go back over there. Go over there, chop. Chopper. Step, look a bit off, I police. Uh, flashlight <laughs> Now people, first thing first, searching is nothing new. However, whenever the crime step up, you have to step up the searching. So it is good that we see that the poor poor put in the effort, the willingness to try to solve or clamp down on this crime. However, whenever you are doing something, you have to be fully prepared. You cannot go half in. If you decide that, listen, today we are going to search some vehicles. You have to have a female to for search the females. Because people or women get offended when any sorts of men frisk them in a certain way. They are going to say, man, I feel, feel them up. So we understand that type of policy. So therefore, no female popo was present. It is good that one of the popo search. And then the next one, stand back and watch the whole operation in case something should have popped off. However, an epic failure that I saw is that none of the females are what I watched on the video was searched. No old lady, no young girl, no big woman, no woman not get searched. And a whole lot of these women had all sorts of bugs. Now, people, if I'm wrong or I'm right, let me know in the comment section. How many times have you heard them catch schoolgirl with all sorts of tool in her bag? How much time we hear, say, them catch woman with all sorts of tool, all sorts of can in them bag? These criminals realize the mentality are how the poor poor pre. The poor poor are pre, say, cho, are the man that commit the crime, so therefore, the most likely scenario, scenario, whatever you want to call it. Adam, I got to have the tool. However, that is not the case. 
So therefore, even though you search, you left the precinct and you go down there go search. You never bring no woman with you. And you did not search woman, women. You might have missed an opportunity to find something. Because just like how oh, not think, a same way the criminal them might think. So therefore, do not leave any sorts of stone unturned. You do everything. You give yourself more chance of finding toll or whatever contraband you are looking for by searching everybody, even the little pit of them, in a them diaper. A little bit exaggerated, but you get the point. Point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that your Prime Minister, he said that he is clamping down on crime, specifically the dons that are overseas, that are facilitating the F-U-C-K-R-Y, meaning smuggling all sorts of toll, sending money to finance all sorts of W-A-R between gangsters in their community. He also said that he is clamping down on the local dons too because they are nothing but a set of parasites. Between the foreign dons, and the local dons, they are responsible for a whole bunch of guns being smuggled in a Jamaica, the foreign one them. And then the local ones them, they are carrying out the orders that are sent by the people that are financially supporting the F-U-C-K-R-Y in a Jamaica. Now people, the Prime Minister have gone even further. In a latest interview that he did, he said that he has 30 foreign dons that are on the list. 30 foreign dons that he had preliminary discussions with his overseas partner, meaning United States law enforcement. He is going to Washington very soon and they are going to have meetings. They are going to see how and when they can hold on to these dons that are sending these guns that are facilitating financing these WARS in all sorts of volatile communities. Now people, I am sure that you've heard me say, you've heard a whole bunch of bloggers say, put out certain persons name that are responsible Certain pictures, bloggers have been advocating for years, many videos, many minutes on YouTube, saying who are the persons that are responsible. And I am sure that the local authority have been listening. They've been taking note. I am sure that They've known about some of these people, not all of them. However, they might not have had the details that a lot of bloggers, including myself, have. Because persons are not going to readily send any sorts of information to the popo because of lack of trust. So therefore, we thought that it was falling on deaf ears. We thought that it seems as if these people love the crime thing. It seems as if our relevant authority, Minister of Justice, Commissioner, Security Minister, whoever, just as sweep this under the rug. However, people, it seems as if they've been planning. Now, people, you and I know that planning and talking, nine-day talk means absolutely nothing until you put it into action, until it is implemented. And I noticed in my comment section when I spoke about the local and foreign dance less than 24 hours ago in my video. People have said to themselves, then hold on a minute, look how long this has gone. In a 2022 is when Andrew Holness and the security minister, the poor poor, decides uh, they are going to put down them foot. Because people, as far back as 1980, 1990, People are saying all sorts of toll in a flour, in a rice, in a all sorts of items, all sorts of boxes. It has been going on forever. 
Now we know, say, the people who control customs, customs officer, them kind of licky licky, so they've been getting the money. They've been getting the proceeds of crime, the bribery money. So therefore, they were not talking. However, since everything is being exposed by social media, since they've been doing all sorts of random search, we've noticed that a whole bunch of boxes are being found, busted with all sorts of anomalies of all sorts of contraband, meaning magazine, meaning toll, meaning this, that, rate, all sorts of illegal stuff. However, this is not anything new. This has been going on for decades. So people, like me say yesterday, it seems as if Andrew Holness, him reach at the party late. Him show up when the party almost done. However, it is better late than never. However, what we want to see, we want to see what is going to happen when he reaches to this meeting. We know so the US authority them serious. However, Jamaica have to show so them serious too. Both of them have to come together and clamp down on this thing if Jamaica really wants this crime situation to end. Because most of these gunmen in a Jamaica, them broke like dog. Them don't have a P.O.T. for P.I.S.S. in it. All them want to do is sit down, take order, go to Western Union, pick up money from people for keep up peer F-U-C-K-R-Y. And people, I am going to explain to you the mentality of most of these dons that send these G-U-N-S to finance all sorts of W-A-R. These people want to be big fish in a small pond. These people have some sorts of inferiority complex they are very insecure within themselves so therefore because them want to look like this big bad bold man them know say them can do it with them money they lack the ability to impress anybody other than with money or a force or a show of force meaning a pie pie of people so therefore even though them left jamaica and them go a foreign for how much years, decades, their mentality still have not changed. They are still childish and foolish in them thinking. However, what is even worse is that they know that the mentality of most of these youths in the garrison, them lazy, them don't want to work. They are freeloaders. So therefore, if them can't have somebody a foreign, I send money, I send toll, and I finance them living like some sort of mate or some sort of bitch. They are going to carry out whatever they need to carry out. Even though it is despicable because they want to eat a food. However, people, dog, I got to eat them supper sooner or later. So all of you dirty dons, the 30 that is on the list plus more to be added. Just remember, long run, short catch. Your time is coming to an end. And end is the operative word. Meaning that, you know what I talk about. Point blank and period. Now people, I don't know if you remember me saying that. Listen, this year, the festive season, Christmas season for 2022 is going to be the worst in the history of Jamaica. People, the prediction is coming to light now maybe about 24 hours ago less than 24 hours ago in manchester four men roll up on a texaco gas station in a manchester when them roll up people this is about 6 p.m so you know say a traffic peak hour it is not as if the place a little bit of people are walk up and down we are talking about traffic blocking, traffic jam. However, these gunmen, like I say, them not really care. They are going to do whatever they choose to do, whenever they choose to do it. And until they are stopped, they are going to ride the wagon until the wheel fall off. Based on the information, it is said that them stick up the people, them, gas station attendant, bring them inside of the store itself. 
stick up everybody, lay everybody down upon them face. Everybody get flat like that song there. Search people, take your cell phone, take your jewelry, take your cash. Go in at the cash register, take out everything, leave with all sorts of high price liquor. People, this is 6 p.m. So we know say, these men, them not give a D-A-M-N. Them are all everybody hostage. Them have bills to pay. Them have picnic for send go to school. Them have things to do. Them have dance hall place to go for the festive season. So therefore, they are making sure that they are financially able. And if a couple of victims have to be affected, be inconvenient, them not give a D-A-M-N. So people, this is my recommendation. If you're going out in this festive season and you have iPhone, you have Samsung phone, left that at your yard or left that near your car. Get some sorts of banger. And one of the things that I've also noticed during the COVID time, people were hesitant for wear masks. However, since all of that policy changed, and you're not for wear no sorts of masks anymore, it seems like everybody, the mama, the dog, and the puss, are wear masks nowadays. And people, why do you think that is? Most of these persons, they are scanning, they are scouting. They are looking for an opportunity for unsuspecting victims. And as soon as you get clearly careless, and get caught slipping, they are going to pounce up on you. So therefore, watch out for the men them in a all sorts of mass. Me I talk about big C mass and these people with these where them call it like some purse, mask or whatever them call it, where the man them are carry nowadays. Most of the time they have the tool hidden in a dot. So people me just I say, be very vigilant in this festive season. Or you too could become a victim. And remember, most importantly, if you be careless, you are going to give away your life. You are going to give away your personal belongings. The life that you save, the belonging that you save, could be your own. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos straight to the point, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, whenever you are rising in life, there's always going to be a set of vipers. They see your potential. They realize that your ceiling is in the stratosphere. When they look at themselves because of their insecurity, because of their hate, because they realize that people Appreciate them for what they pretend to be, which is not who they actually are. For them to feel as if they are up, they are going to do everything within their means to bring you down. Point blank and period.